On the medical watch, seeing the effect of drugs on the brain. Medical reporter Dina Baer introduces us to a scientist displaying the damage. He's tried to capture the essence of drugs in the brain for decades. And now, images that highlight the effects and open the door to find new ways to treat drug addiction. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Actually, this is your brain on drugs. Less sizzle, more of a scramble. It's like you have a, um, a nice uh, set of wires in your brain, and then you take drugs of abuse, and it really scrambles those wires. It tangles them up in ways that they shouldn't be. 35 years after the provocative campaign appeared on TV, neuroscientist Dr. Bobby Castori says researchers now have a much more clear understanding of the impact of drugs. Your behavior, in fact, everything about you, your thoughts, your memories, your behaviors, they're all in that map of connections. Exploring the human brain is like exploring outer space, only more complicated. There are 100 billion neurons to map. That's 10 times the amount of stars in the sky. But Dr. Casturi and his team started their mission in a smaller model, a mouse. We then compared mice that had never been exposed to cocaine and then mice that had just one or maybe two exposures. Three days later, thousands of nano-sized slices of mouse brain were magnified under a high-powered electron microscope. The high-resolution images, 100 terabytes worth of data, were then fed to a supercomputer at Argonne National Laboratory that translated the information for human consumption. We saw dramatic physical changes in the circuitry of the brain, in the circuitry of dopaminergic neurons, after just one exposure to cocaine and just a few days after. The research team honed in on dopamine, the chemical in the brain that makes you feel good. It's released in a controlled manner when you engage in something that evokes pleasure, like eating, exercise, or intimacy. When you take a drug like cocaine, dopamine neurons are activated all over the brain, producing too much of a good thing. It's the system that drugs of abuse hijack. So when you take drugs like cocaine, it actually increases the amount of dopamine in your in your system and it's one of the reasons we become addicted to it because we associate it with pleasure and joy. After the drug exposure, new axons, the wires that help the brain communicate, sprouted like branches from a tree to form new but potentially dangerous connections. New connections are generally associated with new memories, new abilities, new capacities, but new connections in the wrong context, in the context of uh, 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 drugs of abuse actually then reinforce that behavior. At the same time, about half of the existing axons formed huge swellings or bulbs, resulting in loss of function. It makes me think how hard it is to overcome addiction. The first of its kind, visual, is a potential new path to treatment. I think the knowledge that there are these dramatic physical changes, I hope is not too depressing. It was slightly depressing for me to think about. But I think ultimately it will lead us to better therapies. The next step, increase the cocaine doses for a longer time to gather even more data. Back to you.